Hey everyone, this is the Urban Drifter, and today you'll be coming along with me as we walk down Granville Street. We'll be uh, starting today's walk at Davy Street and heading north up Granville Street to the waterfront. Here we are at Davy Street. Now Granville Street is a main street running north-south in uh, downtown Vancouver. Today we'll be walking north. You can see the string of uh, trolley buses. Uh, Granville Street is uh, a very central street for many uh, trolley bus routes. This area of Granville Street uh, to the south of uh, downtown is uh, mostly known for its restaurants and nightclubs. It's basically uh, an endless string of uh, restaurants and nightclubs. There's also uh, some hostels and single room occupancy buildings and that type of thing. And the odd hotel as well. It can get uh, pretty rowdy here on weekends. I'll do another video at night so you can see all the uh, all the lights and that sort of thing. But here we are coming up to uh, Helmican Street. Most of the uh, buildings along Granville were constructed in the early 1900s, specifically around 1910. Coming up to uh, a couple of hotel buildings there on the other side of the street. Uh, they're actually uh, not hotels in the uh, traditional sense. They're long-term uh, occupancy, single-room occupancy buildings. Both of them were built in uh, 1910. We'll be walking just the uh, the northernmost edge of uh, Granville Street, the part that runs through uh, the downtown peninsula of Vancouver. Granville actually extends across uh, False Creek um, and into uh, the southern part of the city uh, for quite a ways. And there's a backpackers building is a, uh, a youth hostel building. And then uh, next to that is the Hotel Bel Belmont, which is actually a uh, traditional hotel. It's a, a recently renovated boutique hotel. And here we are coming up on Nelson Street.
There's lots of uh, nightclubs, as mentioned before, and live music venues as well along this street. And also some crazy cyclists. There's a look towards the west. There's been some proposals to actually close Granville um, to vehicle traffic and just leave it open for uh, pedestrian traffic. Um, they have done that on weekends in the summer and sometimes at night on, on the weekends as well. Um, I don't know where, uh, where those proposals stand right now though. I think they've kind of uh, fallen to the back burner. <laughs> Across the street, you'll see the Vogue Theater. Um, it was constructed as a movie house in 1941. And it is used uh, these days for, for cinema and also for live music and like corporate events and that sort of thing. And there's the Roxy, which is a famous nightclub here in Vancouver. club on the side to be honest Granville nightclubs are not really my scene it's a bit more uh, they're a bit more mainstream clubs the venue across the street there is also another nightclub and you can see the uh, sign for the Orpheum the Orpheum is a, a theater that was built in 1927, and it's home to the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. It's actually uh, a bit of an elegant theater, so it kind of doesn't doesn't completely fit in with uh, the other venues on Granville, but um, it's still kind of cool. It has a very recognizable sign there. And we're also coming up to the Commodore Ballroom, as you can see on the other side of the, re the street. Uh, the Commodore Ballroom is also uh, super famous. It was built in 1930. It's an Art Deco uh, live music venue. Um, it's played host to uh, jazz and big band and uh, right up to, to uh, modern acts today. There's actually a proposal in to uh, re, uh, redevelop this block, but keeping the, uh, keeping the heritage buildings. This kind of marks the, the, the demarcation point between the uh, restaurant and nightclub heavy section of the street to a more shopping oriented uh, section of the street as we come up to Robson here. Which for those who don't know, Robson is one of the main uh, shopping streets in uh, downtown Vancouver. That white building you can see in the distance with the clock at the top is uh, the Vancouver block. It was built in 1912, and the clock is two stories high. It was one of the um, first neon lit signs, or well, first neon lit objects in uh, Vancouver. 
a side note, Vancouver actually was known for its neon. Apparently, rumor has it that it had the second most neon outside of New York City in the uh, in the mid mid uh, 1900s. I like the uh, sounds that the trolley buses make, those electrical type sounds. <laughs> Here we are coming up to uh, West Georgia Street. There's uh, the Vancouver City Center station on the uh, Canada line with the SkyTrain. See some of the modern office buildings and condo buildings. And over on the opposite corner there, you'll see the Hudson's Bay building. That building was originally built in 1913 and has housed the Hudson Bay ever since. It's sadly been uh, neglected uh, in recent years by the Bay, but they do have a... Uh, they are preparing a proposal to renovate the uh, the store. On the left hand side here, you'll see the Pacific Center. That is a uh, indoor shopping mall which runs parallel to uh, Granville Street. There's Granville Station on the Expo Skytrain line.
Here we are, Dunsmuir Street. There's Holt Renfrew there to the left. There's a look towards the west down Dunsmuir. The building there is now home to uh, Simon Fraser University, but it used to be the Bank of Montreal. It was built in 1915. And here we are at West Hastings Street. Oh, sorry, West Pender. West Pender Street. The building on the opposite corner there is the uh, used to be the Montreal Trust Building, and it was built in 1929. That's a look uh, to the west down Pender. And there's an entrance to Waterfront Station, which I'll talk about more in a couple minutes. On the other side of the street there is the Burks Building. It used to be a CIBC Bank, um, and that building was constructed in 1908. clock there, uh, the Burke's clock is quite famous. It was built in 1906 and purchased by Burke's in 1907 and it's followed the Burke's location, <laughs> locations around uh, downtown Vancouver. It's ended up here at their, uh, at their latest location. I believe they moved into this building in uh, 1994. There's the uh, Royal Bank building. The Royal Bank Building was built in 1931. And there you can see the Sinclair Center. The Sinclair Center is actually a collection of four buildings that were built between 1910 and 1937. The one uh, building that you see right now, the, mo the more ornate one, was the first one. It was built in 1910.
there's a look to the west. That was Hastings Street that we just crossed. That's uh, Waterfront Station that you can see coming into view there. It was built in 1914, um, and uh, we're walking over uh, Cordova Street right now. Waterfront Station is uh, services two SkyTrain lines, the Expo and Canada Line, along with the C-Bus and the West Coast Express commuter rail. There's a nice look to the uh, east, down Cordova. Waterfront Station is one of two main stations in uh, downtown Vancouver. The other being uh, Pacific Central, which services uh, Via Rail and Amtrak. As well as uh, intercity buses. It's located on Main Street a little bit to the east from here. And when you come across on this upper level, you hit this nice uh, plaza here, looking out onto the water. This is a cool Sputnik fountain. I actually don't know uh, any information about this fountain, so if anybody knows anything about it, if it has any significance at all, just uh, let me know in the comments. There's a look out at the uh, working port of Vancouver, and then over to uh, Canada Place the convention center and hotel. The Canada Place Pier is also uh, the uh, uh, passenger cruise ship uh, terminal for Vancouver. A lot of the uh, Pacific and Alaska cruises come to Vancouver. It's been on pause, unfortunately, the last couple of years uh, because of the... Uh, the ongoing pandemic, but the uh, ships are set to resume in the spring of 2022. There's often more than one ship docked there uh, in the summer times.
There's a look back to the north up Granville Street. This building here is Granville Square. And this will conclude the video for today. Thank you very much for watching uh, the video of Granville Street. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to get more uh, videos like this of uh, downtown Vancouver and other cities around Canada. If you really enjoyed it, uh, please support me on Patreon.